Hi Gemini, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign, so whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Gemini, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. Um, with that said, remember they are general reads, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Uh, for your her uh, your hermit card, for your uh, key to the week this week, you have the hermit card. Aside from all of its other meanings, the Hermit card really is about deep wisdom. The kind of deep wisdom that comes from, from the inner well, alright? And this is one of the reasons I always say, when the Hermit shows up, the High Priestess, your intuition, your own innate ability has a message for you. If you haven't seen it, please check out the Weekly General. I think this week it might make a lot of sense to you. Um, the fact that you have the Hermit card though suggests that your wisdom, your particular brand of wisdom, is something that you really need to focus on over the course of this week. Now, uh, and I say this out of all love, care and respect, I actually really like the sign of Gemini. Um, you guys aren't known for specialising. You're not really known for... Um, like, you, you know a lot about a lot of things, but not necessarily a great depth of things. This week, however, this is you getting very clear on what your personal brand of wisdom actually is and how you can apply that. So there's something this week that's bubbling up from the depths of you to say this is the direction that we are going in. This is where we go from here. This is what we do from this moment on. So, you know, I really like it because it's, it's quite powerful. Um, with that said, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Your, um, ooh, excuse me, tired Raffi. <laughs> For your actions and options, you've got the Seven of Cups with the Hermit card. Um, this week, my dear Geminis, don't convince yourself the sky is falling if it isn't. And more importantly, where your self-illusory tendencies show up, this is a week for very deep honesty with yourself, all right? And what I mean by this is, and this is this goes for all of us, right? I don't care how uh, gifted you are, or your discipline, I don't care. We all have self-illusory tendencies. We all have things that we, we lie to ourselves about, all right? We work through them, we process them, we try to rise above them and we continue to do so in that refinement. Once we transcend it all, we go on to the next place, right? This week, however, because your actions and options is the Seven of Cups, first things first, take something off your plate. All right, this is a week to streamline the streamline things or to take something off because there's too much going on. A big part of this, right? So this whole thing where Gemini skims the surface of everything but doesn't necessarily go too deep on in any one thing. You're doing the opposite of that this week. And in terms of the self-illusory tendency, because you've got this with the Hermit card, this is where you have either told yourself that you can't do something, that you won't do something. It could also be, for some of you, a really deep realisation where you say, actually, you know what, I've been drinking too much. Uh, it could be something as, you know, I say mundane in air quotes, it could be something as mundane as that, where, you know, maybe something that you like to indulge in is now becoming, you, you know, like if you have a, a glass of wine every single night after work, and that one glass becomes two, it becomes three, it becomes four, it becomes a bottle, at what point do you then say, okay, this is now out of hand? So there's something this week, I think, where you're going to have a moment of realisation to say, yeah, okay, you know what, maybe this is something that I need to curb. Where you are fibbing to yourself, uh, that's a British colloquialism for those of you that aren't from the UK, um, this is the week to get clear on it, right? To be really honest with yourself. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Hierophant. I love this with the Hermit. Why? Because this is you establishing yourself, 
not even as an authority, but it's almost like you're becoming part of a conglomerate in some way. So it's like you're making yourself indispensable to everyone and everything that you have to interact with. When it comes to your communications this week, I think there are gonna be a lot of conversations about uh, what your belief structure is. And I also think there's gonna be a lot of conversations about the structures in your life what is outdated or outmoded or needs to go. For those of you that are uh, studying or in some form of academia, especially with the Hermit card, this would be a really good week to outline and define. I've kind of get the feeling that some of you have been going off on a certain track and a, a teacher, a professor, uh, etc. might say to you, I mean, we are in the summer holidays at this point, so maybe not, um, but I kind of get this feeling that you're gonna be like, ah, that wasn't the question or maybe that wasn't the direction that I was supposed to go in. There's something here where you are redefining or, or clarifying or maybe even classifying what you're supposed to be doing. For those of you that are uh, employed by somebody else, Honestly, you're gonna be expected to work a lot on your own this week. So be prepared to take initiative, be prepared to make the tough calls or the tough decisions. Be prepared for, even if you're not usually the person that's in charge, be prepared to have to make certain decisions while somebody else is out. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, there's something here where you are reintegrating or reinstating something that you have previously thought was a really good idea but weren't sure how to move forward with. So there's something this week where it's like, no, I'm gonna implement this now where it becomes a structure or a part of, or maybe even a cornerstone of my business from this moment forward. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, Honestly, I think for a lot of you, this could be a time where you're going to a sacred site or maybe even taking time to visit somewhere that to you has an element of spirituality, holiness, or um, yeah, that's, that's as much as I'll say on that. For your love and relations, you've got the three of wands. So, <laughs> especially because you've got it underneath the seven of cups. Um, I kind of feel like this is that absence makes the heart grow fonder sort of energy. At first, you might not really even notice it. It might just be a moment of, well, you know, my partner's away or I'm away. You don't really notice it. But within a very short space of time, you could become acutely aware of how much you miss your significant other. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments. However, it's important that you don't allow that to be a distraction, right? Because the partner would be a distraction from whatever you're supposed to be doing or figuring out at this moment in time. And I kind of feel like the time that you're having on your own away from is giving you time space and energy and freedom to think about what is kind of off kilter or not as balanced as it should or needs to be for those of you that are uh, single and looking look if you're meeting someone this week they are going to be older somebody that is what I like to call seasoned like a little bit of salt and pepper um, it's likely as well that this person is either very well established in and of themselves or somebody that is maybe an entrepreneur, somebody that's quite wealthy, maybe somebody that is already at that stage where they can kind of kick back and not really do much. Um, I love it. I mean, with the three of wands as well, it suggests kind of a, a, a lucky kind of meet in some way. And then for your money and materials, you've got the wheel of fortune. So your resources are great this week. Um, especially, so for those of you that are applying for loans, uh, for those who, I mean, Jupiter is retrograde, so I'm not 100% sold on that idea, but if you need a loan, if you need a grant or a bursary or anything like that, money that you need, money that you, uh, you know, that you decide you need for anything is available to you. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Wheel of Fortune, um, <laughs> There's a, a few ways that this could show up, especially with the Hermit card, you could be taking a retreat. So this could, it could be anything from a spa day right through to a yoga retreat and everything in between. Um, this would be a really good week to do something like that as well. When it comes to your home and environment, the Wheel of Fortune usually suggests that you are spending time away from the home or that some, you know, I feel like it will be you that's not at home for any number of reasons, 
Going back to this thing about health as well with the Wheel of Fortune, there's a change in circumstances over a health problem, challenge or issue that you've previously had. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but what I can tell you is that things are about to improve for your health uh, for the better. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.